when you are trying to remove your rotor, there are a few ways you can employ. If you're strong enough, you could just grab it and pull it out. Obviously, I'm not that strong. You could try to use impact and force like this and maybe you'll get a plank of wood and knock it out from the other side but it's not my favorite method for one you can't it's not the best way to use if you intend to reuse your rotor and two i don't like putting induced stress on my bearing behind that rotor over there but there is another method turn this rotor around do you see this threaded hole over here a lot of rotors come with that sometimes with these cars you don't really get them but that threaded hole takes a metric 8 by 1.25 thread. So this is what I have. It's a 12 millimeter head in my case. I just have these bolts lying around. Thread it in there. And get my 12 millimeter tool. Oh. Well, I was going to wish I had a break, but I'm going to have to use my foot. You see that? Yes. It is using force, but it's judicially applied. And just like that, off it goes. And now we see it. Oh, well, barely even poked all the way through. Look at it. And that spot right there is where the bolt was scraping on. See, nothing permanent. You can wipe it off. Uh, what's that stuff, you wonder? I'll tell you. It's anti-seize. <laughs> I applied a little bit, very little of it, actually, and wiped it off with the intention that my rotor was not going to get stuck there. You can see how well that worked, right? I hope that video helps.